Hey guys, it's Rich here at the Ultra Motorsports Warehouse Warehouse. So don't mind the mess. Uh, we usually keep all of our cars in our showroom area. Uh, these are kind of where the projects go to hang out. Um, I'm doing a quick video here for one of our potential online buyers. He wanted to see some pictures and we weren't sure we'd get them to him in time. Uh, so we want to make sure we get him a good video so he can make a real informed decision. All right, uh, this is our 1966 Lincoln Continental Convertible factory black. That should be an A code black, I believe. Factory black with red interior. Exceptionally rare, exceptionally desirable color on these cars. Uh, a lot of people um, are always looking for the black black or the black red. Cars bring marquee prices compared to the other vehicles. So let's do a quick walk around. Keep in mind what we lack in production value around here. Uh, there's definitely some transparency. Um, in our videos, uh, you're going to see every little nick, every little scratch, every little thing going on. Uh, keep in mind this is a project car, a good project car, a solid project car, uh, and a good start for somebody. So, real quick, we'll start here at the driver's um, front. Uh, this is the dimmer. So this is this vehicle is equipped with uh, automatic, uh, should be like a dimmer, automatic dimmer when another car is approaching. Chrome on this car, um, you, you know, this you're going to need re-chromed, okay? Um, paint as you can see from here. It looks okay uh, Bring it in close and you know this car is definitely a candidate to be repainted 100% don't let anybody tell you different this thing Should be repainted this car should checking in a lot of places and um, uh, Could doesn't need your body work, but definitely needs needs painted uh, What's nice about this car is all of this stuff is still here. So all these emblems and logos and grill and and all this stuff you know Lincoln parts are exceptionally difficult to find uh, you know um, China isn't stamping out little Lincoln emblems so you have to find originals or you have to ha your car has to have original so that's what's nice about this car uh, as we look down the body lines here everything looks real straight you can see we'll get, we'll get to this in a second here this big mess a uh, little starting here we got some bubbling starting right there some rust bubbles I think a lot of this is original paint on this car so I'm okay with that these long stainless pieces on the top of the car going all the way down the top those are all here on this car and they all look good and all the clips are there also so that's important all right when you're when you're pricing these cars uh, this obviously something backed into this car um, anybody guy would tell you this is probably easy 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 deal to fix so Probably doesn't even need cut or anything like that. Pushed out, sanded down. Um, moving on, uh, this is what I like about this 66. It's got the um, key entry from the exterior of the vehicle. Uh, again, Continental emblems all look very good. These are pricey items. All right, you ever have a car that doesn't have them and they say, well, you can buy those. You can, they're about $400 a piece. So, um, rear bumper. Again, definitely needs re-chromed, okay? Uh, I actually have a spare. If there was something wrong with this one that we found, I have a spare that I could, I could give the potential um, buyer. Uh, rear deck. Again, you know, from here, paint looks okay. You could drive this car around probably, and no one would, would uh, and you know, you'd still get thumbs up, all right? Um, but in my opinion, you know, spend the money, paint the car, okay? Uh, let's look at the wheel wells here real quick, excuse me. You can see down here we got a little bit of stuff starting okay a little bit of rust starting down there um, back here everything looks real nice hubcaps are in great shape I've got several sets of hubcaps if you guys wanted some I've got plenty um, this all looks real solid really happy with what's going on under here um, I don't see anything this is all factory undercoating these cars were all undercoated from the factory all this looks nice. Uh, there is a shield that goes in here that's probably missing, but I, I have that, so I can get that to the to anybody. Frame is excellent in this car. Everything looks really, really nice. Okay, on to the passenger side. Again, you know, we got some stuff starting here. Okay, I. I don't mind this. You can see it. It's there. You know it's not hiding. The car's not been messed with, so you're not going to be chasing it down. You know where it is. You're not going to be in this car picking caulk apart and all kinds of other crap that somebody tried to hide. So I don't mind that. That's fine. It's there. I know where it is. Uh, all this looks nice. This side of the car, you know, dense dings. 
Um, all this chrome. I mean, you know, if you're gonna paint the car, you know, don't put lipstick on a pig. Just get the thing. Just get just get these things rechromed or something. Okay, or get new ones. They make. They don't make them. They uh, they have new ones that have been rechromed. They can buy it like Baker's Auto or Tim Nill Lincoln Parts or Lincoln Land. One of those places will have them. So, uh, all this trim looks great. All this chrome. This will all clean up. All this stuff will clean up really nice. Okay, vent windows. This chrome uh, will clean up. You know, it's a little pitted here, but it will clean up for sure. Front of the car, front passenger side. Okay, let's bring it in close here. Let's go ahead and start this thing. Uh, and we'll get in the engine compartment now too, okay? Like I said, this is a running and driving car. Uh, runs and drives well. well. Let's open these up, excuse me. Okay, <clears throat> like I said, I don't mind this. I like it. Original car, not been messed with. Nobody's been in here dinking around, trying to change the color, trying to fix stuff. Uh, these armpits here, you know, they go bad, okay? So this is, a, this is a spot where you could find a lot of crap going on on one of these. So uh, this, uh, this one looks good too, as you can see. Everything looks nice. Sill plates. You know, they're going to need replaced also, okay? A code on the car. Color code. We'll go to the other side here in a second. Someone recovered this car in vinyl seats, okay? So if you see a Lincoln with vinyl, all right, uh, and they tell you it's supposed to be that way, it, you know, Lincolns never came with vinyl and they never will. So, uh, at least not to my knowledge. So. This, they recovered over the leather with vinyl. So underneath here, you can see down there, this is leather in here, and the vinyl, they covered over it. I haven't torn it all back yet to see. Uh, this, it looks like there was an issue with the driver's seat here with the leather, so they recovered all the seats. My guess is this one looks really nice, and my guess is it's gonna look really nice underneath here if you pull this vinyl off. I'd be happy to do it if we get into negotiations with somebody on the on the internet. Um, door panels on this car, uh, very, very reusable, okay? I have several extras. I have lots of spare parts for these cars um, if you need something, okay? So you can see here, a little bit of pitting, nothing too crazy. The wood grains, just a little shabby, probably be cleaned up or redone, no problem. Original again, very nice looking. One broken off there, I've got several. If we need one, we can get together. This will all need redone. Uh, uh, and again, I have some, some, uh, fa some factory red also that we could use. Uh, let's look at the dash. So, pretty rare to not have a Lincoln that has a split speaker. Uh, Dashes on these cars are expensive, so keep that in mind. Um, a dash, this this dash, redoing this dash on this car is you know fifteen hundred bucks easy. So put that into your budget. Also, um, I do like on this car that uh, we've got um, uh, cruise control. Looks like on this car, um, as well as AC, obviously. So AC, cruise control. Um, and yeah, good deal started right up um, the uh, odometer showing 28,130 obviously I'm assuming it's been rolled over okay cars running driving original owner's manual courtesy light still working good deal so <clears throat> Okay, this door panel, as you can see, looks pretty good. Again, not bad. This one also, not bad, okay? <clears throat> Vent window, working. Vent window on the other side, working. Uh, we got uh, driver's window, not working. Passenger window working. Driver's window not working from here. 
okay? Um, back window, working, even though the switch is broke, okay? Uh, passenger side rear. Working, but sticky, okay? We're gonna, we, we wanna do something about that. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's work this top. Uh, there's some stuff in the trunk. So we won't do, uh, we, won't, we won't put the top all the way back, but we definitely want to show everybody that it works. So here we go. Working the top from the button here, okay? A lot of parts in there. Flippers going up like it should. A little hesitation in the flipper. Those go bad pretty easily. Kind of a poor design from the factory. And top collapsing like it's supposed to. We're gonna go back down now. Top latches. We're gonna stop right there, okay? And what we'll do now is go to the exterior of the car. And with the key control, we're gonna work this top. Closing just like it should. Doing everything it's supposed to do. This is big for Lincoln's, guys. This stuff has to work. I mean, you know, it's really, really, really hard to, to, uh, to repair some of this stuff. So, a lot of extra parts in there. We can talk about all those if somebody would like to. Closing up the way it should. Seams look, or uh, excuse me, um, gaps look good. Gaps look good over here. I, I don't think the car has ever been apart or anything like that. So, you know, it, if somebody was trying to do something weird and, and uh, hide a bunch of stuff, uh, that's when, you know, you could be chasing something down forever and you get in the middle of a restoration and they say, oh, uh, and you, you say, oh my gosh, what did this person do? Can you believe they did this? So engine compartment of this car, pretty tidy really. You can tell somebody's kind of been in here and kind of tried to keep things up a little bit. Uh, I've done nothing to it, so um, it's, it's, uh, it, could, it could definitely use some detailing out and freshening up, okay, for sure. So again, factory air over there. Um, and you know, this could use a little cleanup, but all here, running, driving, Lincoln Continental. Oops, okay. Um, another function here we want to check, uh, the rear windows, when you open these rear windows, they should drop down, okay, four inches, and they should go back up when you close the car. So the drop down's working on this car, but the, the up is not working. So this sits behind this, so when you hit this button, it should drop down to right here, and you should be able to clear this window because it sits behind it, okay, got it? So. That's something we want to check out for, for anybody if, if they were interested, okay? Okay, guys, there she is, 1966, Lincoln Continental Convertible, factory black with red interior. This one over here, this one, the drop-down's not working on this one, okay? So these are not like other cars. They're an engineering marvel. Uh, you really, really, really want to know what you're in for before you get into it okay again i cannot stress enough how much i like having an original car that's not really been messed with okay uh and really just take apart clean up put back together doesn't get any simpler than that okay i'm really curious to see what's underneath this vinyl that would be a real treat if the leather was even somewhat salvageable okay so steering wheels in good shape factory black red interior car most desirable, most sought after Lincoln color around. 1966 Lincoln Continental Convertible. Uh, get with us at ultramotors.net uh, or uh, check us out uh, or send me an email personally through the website. Okay, thanks guys.